Hey, my friends, it's Miss Melanie. I'm back. Um, I have a math activity to do for you. And parents, all you need is dice and pieces of paper. And on my paper, I've written numbers 1 through 6 and numbers 7 through 12. Because we're going to be working with numbers 1 through 12 today. What I'm going to ask you to do is start with one dice. Have your child roll the dice. And then ask them to tell you what number is that. Let's count. One. Two, three, four, five. Five. Can you show me five fingers? Five. Very good. Now what you're going to do is ask your child to look at the numbers that you have written down. And can you find number five on the list here? Let's look. Five. Is that five? Nope. That's three. Is that five? No. That's six. There's five. Five fingers. Number five. What you're going to do is once they found number five, you're going to have them cross it out. Have them roll the dice again. What number is that, my friends? Three. Very good. Can you show me three fingers? Three. Let's look on our numbers and see if we can find number three. That's two. There's three. And we're going to cross number three out. Once your child has gotten down numbers one through six, add another set of dice to it so they can roll two dice. Can you tell me what that is, my friends? What number that is together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Can we find number seven on our list of numbers? Is that seven? Nope. Is that seven? Nope. There's seven, and we're going to cross out number seven. Very good. If your child does really well with numbers one through 12, as an extension, if you happen to have more dice at home, you can add one more or two more sets of dice and continue to work up the numbers. If you do not have dice at home, it is okay. You can get paper and just do number cards on, on um, regular paper and just flip them over and ask your child to name the number and find the match on paper. Thank you, my friends. Have a good day. Have fun working with the numbers.